So this morning at about six o'clock, the ship entered Glacier Bay and you didn't see any signs when you entered Glacier Bay because there are none. It is wilderness and the bay is about five miles wide where you were at about 6 a.m. this morning. So you enter Glacier Bay and that's when I got on board. Since that time, we have cruised all the way north to the very top of Glacier Bay. It's about a 65 mile run in total. At the very top of the bay is where we find the Marjorie and Grand Pacific glaciers. Those glaciers are the glaciers that carved Glacier Bay. About a half a million people visit Glacier Bay every year. A majority of them visit on cruise ships. Cruising is the easiest and most accessible way to visit Glacier Bay. It is fairly remote. There's also a few hundred people who come every year by kayak and they spend anywhere between one night to a month out on the water exploring the wilderness of Glacier Bay. Had you been here, 300 years ago, there would have been no bay to sail into. Instead, you would have found a very broad, flat plain with uh, salmon streams and berries and trees, and that's where the native Clinket people would have lived. About 250 years ago, when that glacier began to retreat, there was a fjord left in its wake. So that is the fjord that we traveled up today. It did not exist 300 years ago. It did not exist 250 years ago. It is new, it is fresh, and it is constantly revealing more land as this ice continues to retreat up into the bay. Mm -hmm. 